Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Good day. <laughs> so today we're doing the subframe, the real subframe on the illusional mini that apparently is I'm never gonna finish, but <laughs> hey, that's why we all love project cars. So here's the subframe that I've got out. Lighting's a bit bad, that's why I've got this lead light. So what we're gonna do is take off the radius arms first. Um, to do that, we first need to take off the brake lines that come from the rear brake splits, I think you want to call this that. And when we're doing that, we must just remember there's still brake fluid in. So what we're going to do, start to the side, take off the that connection there, um, and then repeat the same process on the right hand side or left hand side, and then inside there as well. So let's start doing that, and then we'll concentrate on taking off the radius on. Let's get it. We're gonna start with this radius arm here. What I did was use a, an adjustable wrench and grab it on this side over here. And I used a 14, I think this is, a 14, yeah. And first of all, you have to loosen this like here. So loosen that and get that out the way. Then loosen this. So, and once that's loose, so these were actually really, really loose, which is quite scary. Grab it like that, Ooh. and essentially that should be it for now. So that is the one side done. Let's not lose this bolt. There we go, sorted. Okay. And like I said, remember this, it still does have a bit of brake fluid in it, so <laughs> just be careful. Don't let it like jump on any of your paint or anything important around you. So now that that's loose, we can pay attention to the side over here. I mean, with my lead light. There we go. So we can pay attention to the side here. Same process. Take 14 and try and get in here and just loosen this oak up a bit. Ooh, stubborn. There we go. Just like that you have one rear brake line and splitter assembly. So put this somewhere safe. Oh, there we go, I'm getting dripped on. <laughs> Lovely. So just make sure it just doesn't drip on anything important. So we're gonna turn this subframe around um, just so we can get easy access to the bolts on the bottom. I'm happy with that. Let's attack these bolts here on the bottom of the subframe. Let's get this done. And just bear in mind that these do snap, so just be very careful with them. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can see the ones. Now we're going to try to attack these inside here. This one is going to be a problem because you can see the space. That is not very ideal to get a ratchet in there, but we're going to give it a bash. See if we can't get away this gunk on the bottom there, get a ratchet in and take it off. Too bad actually. Nice. Okay, let's try to get the bottom one off now. So the bottom one is obviously down there. This guy should be pretty easy. Yep, that's straightforward. I I've even loosened this. Okay, great. There we go. So essentially that bracket's loose, which wasn't much of a problem, thought it was going to be much harder. So now, the only thing that's holding this in is this big bolt here. And I think it is a 19mm socket. So let's see. Oh, nope, 20. Twenty. 
Look, slightly too small, so let's get a 21. And there it is, a 21 mil. So let's get the, the socket out and get it in. Or get it out, should we say. <laughs> get right in there. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Ooh. And here's the bolt, it's quite a big boy. And there's a washer, so let's see if my radius arm will come off. Okay, let's see, the wire won't come off. Oh, there we go. What else are we holding on to? I don't think we're holding on to anything else, I think that's it, it should fall off. Out here. There we go. That's how you get it out. Jeepers. That is bad. <laughs> so this is the right hand radius arm as far as I know. That is gross. Oh ooh, that is gross. I don't think that has been changed. Look at the gunk. Oh wow. Gross. Look at this thing. Nice. Okay. That's one art. Let's do the other side. I'm just going to time lapse it because I just explained what to do on the right hand side. So it's exactly the same on that side. So let's do a time lapse and get that side out. Looks like we've got both of the radius arms out. So I just got the left one out and wow, it was uh, very stubborn. And just look at the junk that is accumulated on this thing. Oh my goodness. So, this is out, and obviously the trumpets, I think you want to call them, and the rubber donuts. Let's take these looks out. There we go. Hey, spot around like a donut. <laughs> so, that's out. So that's basically the main component of it. I think what we're going to tackle next is the, just these little whatever hose connectors, and take this little rubber, whatever that is, an exhaust hanger, and then these mounts that mount to the car. That's what we're gonna tackle next. Not too bad though. I'm um, going quite smoothly, surprisingly. Got the subframe back onto the workbench um, after taking off, like I said earlier, the rest of the ancillaries will your, what are these things called again? <laughs> Forgot what these things are called again, but these. Um, I was gonna say control arms, no. It will come to me anyway, I got these off. Um, with the um, trumpets and the rubber donuts, and now we're gonna get these brake lines off. Um, I think it's just I'm gonna use my 15 again, and literally undo over here, and then pull them out. Let's get that done. What are these radius arms? There we go. They're called the radius arms. <laughs> and let's quickly get these off, and yeah. Now we're going to hop into these uh, bushings, rubber bushing mounts, I don't know what you're going to call them. I'm just going to do one side and then, because it's exactly the same on the other side. So just going to undo one side and yeah, then we should be good. Then the subframe will be finished, hopefully. <laughs> Let's send it. It's a day later, or yeah, a day later after stripping the rest of the subframe and I stopped at the connections where it actually mounts onto the body which is at the front near the heel board i think it's what it's called and this is mounted in the boot so i couldn't get these back ones off over here because you literally have to hold that side and undo this one because it's obviously one unit and there's a special tool that looks like a same tool as you loosen an angle grinder with so these ones over here but none of mine seem to fit so my mate and myself essentially just used a 
adjustable wrench or monkey spanner is what we like to call it here. And we just put it on and did it like that. So that's essentially how do you take the rest of the stuff off the subframe. Only thing really left to get off is some small stuff is this rubber bump stop thing. I don't even know what that is for. And just taking off the actual um, mounts and then order some new bushings. I'm going to do polyurethane just to stiffen it up a bit. And yeah, that's essentially would be the whole rear subframe disassembly. Pretty simple. Um, next one's obviously going to be the front subframe, which we'll do that in the next video, I think. But sure, that's, I think, one easy way how to basically disassemble the front subframe. Not too bad. I'm going to carry on and see what happens. That's going to effectively end the video today, guys. I um, hope it helped. Uh, carry on wrenching, carry on taking stuff for parts until I don't know how to. <laughs> Making slow progress. Slow progress is better than no progress. So I reckon that's all for today before we hop onto the rear subframe. As always, stay safe, and don't forget to always send it. <laughs> Check you guys in the next one.